Our practice has been always will be to use the absolute infallible Word of God preserved in the authorized version of the King James Bible 1611 in the International Language of English. Please turn your Bible with me. 1 John chapter 5 verse 6 through 7. This, he, this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witnesses, because the Spirit is truth. Verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the wa water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. You, you might know that it would deal with the Trinity, my dear brethren. Now as I said before, I will tell you why Jesus said that my father, my father again and again, again and again, why he said. I am going to explain now. So in later I will explain. If you look at these three verses, we will see a wonderful truth. Verse 6 says, the blood of Christ. The water here is connected with physical birth and life, not water baptism here. So this verse, uh, they mention water. That water is not a, uh, uh, not talking about water baptism. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, the water here is connects, connected with physical birth, my dear brethren. So in all we knows, during the mother's womb, the fetus is surrounded by a uh, fluid called saliva. So you know very well about that. What seven? The deity of Jesus Christ. So here, verse 7, uh, talking about the deity of Jesus Christ. First is verse 6, here, the blood of Jesus. Then verse 7 here, talking about the deity of Jesus Christ. The deity of Jesus Christ. Their mention, verse 7, their uh, <coughs> one important truth, their mention. Their mention, Father. Okay, the father means father. And again they are mentioned the word. The word, capital W, means Jesus Christ. Uh, you can read this uh, in the Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 and verse 8. If you read this, that verses, you may understand. And the fourth, there mention the Holy Ghost. Means Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is called the Word, not Word. See, uh, I'll explain about the Word 
uh, in coming days but now uh, i'll tell one thing if you found capital w in the scriptures it's refer to jesus christ if you found small w small w it's talking obviously bible or scriptures so please make sure in your mind my dear brother, brethren where he is called the word in the bible well we will uh, learn more in the coming days uh, coming day study but for now it is the lord jesus christ who is called the word here verse 7 and verse 8 verse 8 the humanity of christ the humanity of christ see how beautiful our kjb bible so this verses uh, in all new versions they changed this verses but our kjb bible is very perfect 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 my dear brethren there is no mistake in the kjb bible observe the three threes in the three verses my dear brethren this is the symmetry and beauty of the king james bible all new versions are changed this verse and this beauty and verse 6 telling that the holy spirit is truth jesus as god's word is truth J- gospel of john chapter 17 words 17 says in this three verses the total witnesses to the deity and humanity of christ are six my dear brethren in that six three upstairs three downstairs so now we are going to see what's that three upstairs at uh, in verse 7 three upstairs tells us his deity three downstairs in verse 8 tells us his humanity the ones upstairs will deal with the son of god and the ones downstairs will deal with the son of man the lord jesus christ is 100% god and 100% man please keep in your mind this is because this is the very very most important my dear brethren the lord jesus christ is 100% god hundred percent god and hundred percent man this is very very important to know all about jesus now let us see how jesus christ is god and man in the bible jesus christ two natures god and man have a total of six components my dear brethren jesus christ as god of very god now we are going to see this six so our lord jesus christ is 100% god and 100% man
Jesus Christ as God of very God. First of all, Jesus Christ had a divine soul. Jesus Christ had a divine soul. So the father and second jesus christ had a divine spirit had a divine spirit means the holy ghost uh, please read verses john chapter 3 verse 34 hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 because scriptures are very very important John chapter 3 verse 34 For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God for God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him see, deep, see my dear brethren and Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And here Jesus Christ had a divine body, third one, and a divine body. means the sun see father holy ghost son trinity they are one john chapter 3 verse 13 chapter 6 verse 19 acts 2 verse 31. Please read these verses. John chapter 3 verse 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And John chapter 6, verse 19. So when they had rode about 5 and 20 or 30 furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. And Acts chapter 2, verse 31. And Acts chapter 2 verse 31. He is seeing this before speak of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. So, Jesus Christ as God of very God. Jesus Christ had, had a divine soul, a divine spirit and a divine body.
in addition to that as man of very man uh, man of very uh, very man fourth one he had a human bo human body he had a human uh, human body john chapter 4 verse 6 and chapter 19 words 20 and hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 through 8 uh, after right i'll read and fifth one had human spirit he had a human spirit John chapter eleven thirty three and Mark chapter two verse eight and sixth one. He had a human soul. human soul matthew chapter 26 38 verse 38 isaiah chapter 53 verse 10 through 11 please read these verses my dear brethren jesus christ <coughs> he had a human body john chapter 4 verse 6 Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being worried with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. And chapter nineteen, verse twenty. John chapter nineteen, verse twenty. Please, with patience, read these verses because these all verses is very very important. John chapter nineteen, verse. 20 this title then read many of the jews for the place where jesus was crucified was nigh to the city and it was written in hebrew and greek and latin and hebrews chapter 5 what 7 and 8 hebrews chapter 5 what 7 and 8 who in the days of the, his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was hard in the hard in that he feared though he were a son yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered so he had a human body and he had a human spirit john chapter 11 verse 33 john chapter 11 verse 33 when jesus therefore saw her weeping and the jews also weeping which came with her he groaned in the spirit and was uh, troubled see my dear brethren he had a human spirit mark chapter 2 gospel of mark chapter 2 verse 8 and immediately when jesus 
perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned with within themselves he said unto them why reason ye these things in your hearts so he had a human spirit and last one he had a human soul matthew chapter 26 verse 38 the gospel of matthew chapter 26 verse 38 Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me. And Isaiah chapter fifty-three, Isaiah chapter fifty-three, verse ten and eleven. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him; he hath put him to grief. when thou shall make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the lord shall prosper in his hand see my dear brethren the lord jesus christ is 100% god 100% man there is no doubt in that see how well the holy spirit god gave us the scriptures now we will see the son of god in the book means i said the lord jesus christ is 100% god and 100% man now we will see the son of god in the book book means the bible jesus christ 100% is god i am wiping up all this on the board because i need clear board so our lord jesus christ is 100% god jesus christ is 100% god if you believe or not i don't care but my bible said he is 100% god one as the title of dd uh, sorry as the title of dt Isaiah chapter nine verse six. Please uh, read yourself that verses. And second, he has the power of deity. John chapter five. The Gospel of John chapter five verse twenty seven. Third, he performs the work. of dt work of dt the gospel of mark chapter 4 verse 39 and john chapter 11 verse 44 fourth one he does not hesitate to declare his dt the gospel of john chapter 14 verse 9 chapter 10 verse 30 chapter 8 verse 58 same book on same gospel of john number 5 he speaks as dt he speaks as dt 
the gospel of matthew chapter 11 verse 28 john chapter 9 verse 37 and john chapter 3 verse 36 uh, please read yourself my dear brethren if i read it will take much time and sixth one he prophesies has dt he prophesies as dt so the gospel of luke please read 17 chapter all and 21 chapter and matthew 23 chapter and 24 chapter and john 14 to 17 chapters if you read you will find he prophesies as a dt and seven and he has eyewitness to his deity. His deity. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 6, and 500 of them. So these the uh, these references telling our Lord Jesus Christ is hundred percent God. As the title of DT Isaiah chapter nine six, power of DT, his work of DT, he is said not his DT, he speaks as DT, he prophesies as DT. He has eyewitness to his deity, my dear brethren. This much clear. And now we will see the Son of Man in the Bi in the book means in the Bible. So now we are going to see. So how he hundred percent man? How he hundred percent man? We see seven things, and now we are going to see again seven things. Our Lord Jesus Christ is 100% man. One, he got hungry. Matthew chapter 21 verse 18. Luke chapter 4 verse 2 if you read that verses our Lord Jesus Christ he got hungry and second he thirsty John chapter 4 verse 7 John chapter 19 verse 18 and third one he tied he tied john chapter 4 verse 6 and fourth one he wept this is a small uh, verse in the english bible john chapter 11 verse 35 fifth one he rejoice luke chapter 10 verse 21 sixth one he got angry the gospel of mark chapter 3 verse 5 he got angry and seventh one he died first corinthians 
I think you got answer about why Jesus said my father or father, father, father again and again, again and again. So this is the answer, my dear brethren. Because he was fully human, he cried out to the father. So this thing also unable to understand some so-called preachers, my dear brethren. How foolish thing is this? This much clear, our King James Bible. Our King James Bible is this much clear. So our Lord Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% man. John, uh, 1 John chapter 5 verse 20. Please turn your Bible with me. So I am wiping all this. First John chapter 5 verse 20. Please read this verse. And we know that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true and we are in him that is true even in even in his son jesus christ this is the true god and eternal life amen this verse telling us this is the true god our lord jesus christ is true god means Jesus Christ is the true God. There are so many great verses in the Bible about the divinity of Jesus, yet many people, many people say that Jesus is not God. What they are saying is that I have read the whole Bible. Uh, again, they said, I didn't find one single verse. And they are lie that Jesus is not God, my dear brethren. I am very surprised when they lie like that. Because if such great text says that Jesus is God, then they will speak as if Jesus is not really God. They speak like that. I think this is what the Bible says about the devil causing blindness. So I believe that only. In order to eliminate all unsaved historians, all philosophers, all unsaved scientists, all Hindus, all Muslims, all unsaved Jews, all Buddhists, all evangelists, and all New Age worlds, John, the fisherman, he is the fisherman, dips his coil in ink and destroys all nations in the UN with one final stroke of his pen, my brothers. It wrote one sentence of eight words. This is the true God and eternal life. Please uh, turn your Bible with me. John chapter 17 verse 7. Gospel of John chapter 17 verse 3. Sorry, Gospel of John chapter 17 verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. See here, in true God, and uh, through him only, eternal life is there. So this is a very clear. According to more than 80 to 85 percent of the, of the world, population today says God's son is not the true God and he is, he is not eternal life. 80 to 85 population, the world population says this word. This words that we hear from the world today hurt me so much my dear brethren. Because 
he is a true god and one more bad thing it's going to happen very soon in, in the days to come the son of perdition will be accepted as true god in the next several years my dear brethren this is a very so bad thing first john 5 chapter 5 verse 20 says true god why is it written here as true god because there are many false gods in the world today satan is dissenger of light and deceiving many due to satan's deception on this earth many people have been born as gods but they are not gods my dear brethren in india still now there are many people who said i am god every day day by day some new gods are burning in india my dear brethren please pray for india especially i don't know where you are watching this video but please pray for india so jesus is true god and the true light john chapter 1 and 9 says this is the true light means our lord jesus christ is true light true god true light there are more duplicates than originals on earth today the milk our babies drink is duplicate the food we eat is duplicate even medicine is duplicated my dear brethren falsehood is more common on earth the truth then the truth our god jesus is true god and he is the true light and now the time bomb is about to explode my dear brethren please turn your bible with me first timothy chapter 3 verse 16 this is also the amazing words in the bible i love this verse first timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and without con- controversy great is the mystery of godliness god was manifest in the flesh again i am reading god was manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit seen of angels preached unto the gentiles believed on in the world received up into glory so this is a very excellent bomb those who are uh, against to our lord jesus christ my dear brethren we are approaching the greatest verse in the entire bible on the deity of christ what a wonderful verse my dear brethren god was manifest in the flesh please memorize this verse because this verse is very very important those who are against the lord jesus christ they have to be dedicated to destroying the sense of the verse here you need to observe one more important thing that is god manifest in the flesh it says god god we are not christ or lord or he or his own it says that god 
was manifest in the flesh see god was manifest in the flesh not christ he had not mentioned like this christ was manifest in the flesh our lord was manifest in the flesh no he had not he, he had not mentioned like that god was manifest in the flesh it is not written that jesus came in the flesh or christ came in the flesh but surely it is written here that god came in the flesh my dear brethren now tell me what is the name of that god <laughs> simply the lord jesus christ all right <laughs> God came not only in flesh but also with his own blood we read already acts chapter 20 verse 28 he not only came in in the flesh but also with his own blood he came god was manifest in the flesh with his own blood for after all it is the greatest verse in the bible and christ deity my dear brethren and i am moving forward you understood very well simply so we no need to uh, <coughs> explain great scholars description and please turn your bible with me philippians chapter 2 verse 6 Philippians 2:6 Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God So here this verse telling clearly my dear brethren First Christ not only the form of God he is the image of God uh, please Uh, i am wiping out all these things because i need more board my board is very small uh, please understand to 6 philippians chapter 2 verse 6 so first Christ not not only the form of God, he is the image of God. And. And. image of god hebrews chapter hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 through 3 second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 colossians chapter 1 verse 13 through 15 if you read this verses Christ not only the form of God he is the image of God and second he was not only equal with God he not only equal with God but claim the same titles claim the same titles my dear brethren so isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 same title same title 
title and Matthew chapter 26 verse 64 same power and John chapter 3 verse 13 same attributes same attributes and Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 through 32 same authority Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 and John chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 same nature of God did you understand my dear brethren he was not only equal with God, but claimed the same title, power, attributes, authority, and same nature of God. And third one. First, second, third. Christ was God manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 we read we sin and brought God's blood with him Acts chapter 20 verse 28 that's the third Christ uh, God was manifest in the flesh and fourth Christ never Hesitate to let people worship him as God Almighty. So he never hesitated to let people worship him as Almighty. As God Almighty. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7. And Revelation chapter 22 verse 13, there the Alpha and Omega. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, the beginning and ending. And never told any man to get off his knees if that man was worshipping him. This is also very very important, my dear brethren. So I am wiping this upper upside. Because these verses, we should read these verses. And Jesus Christ never told any man to get off his knees if that man was worshipping him. Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 14 verse 33. The Gospel of John chapter 20 verse 28 and Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 and Matthew chapter 28 verse 8 and 9. Please read these verses. Matthew chapter 14 verse 33. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him. See that? Again and again read these verses. This is a very beautiful verses. For me this is a very beautiful verses. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him saying of truth thou art the son of God. 
my soul is full happy inside me my dear brethren and if i read this verses my soul is dancing inside and gospel of john words 20 words 28 the gospel of john words 20 words uh, chapter 20 words 28 and thomas answered and said unto him my lord and my god and matthew chapter again 28 8 and 9 matthew chapter 28 8 and 9 and they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word and as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. See that? Worshipped him. And Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Now when Jesus was born in the Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. They worshipped our Lord Jesus Christ. They found and they worshipped the wise men. Now that much is clear, Christ was God. Jesus Christ was the creator of Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. So our Lord Jesus Christ, he created heaven and the earth, my dear brethren. Now, Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, words 10 and 11. Uh, please read these verses. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and verse 9 wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name so these three verses actually I said two verses but Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, 10, and 11. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him. He took seven steps down. So now he takes seven steps up, my dear brethren. First of all, in this words. Highly exalted, number two, I said he took seven steps down, so now he takes seven steps up. In that one is highly exalted and second is a name, above name, above every name, sorry. And three. Universal Dominion. Fourth one. Over everything. In heaven. Fifth one over everything in 
uh, over everything on earth and sixth one over everything under the earth and seventh one absolute lordship so he he took seven steps down so now he takes seven steps up highly exalted a name above every name universal dominion fourth over everything in heaven over everything on earth over everything under the earth absolutely absolute lordship a name the name verse 10 my dear brethren that at the name of jesus every knee should bow amen this will happen in the future this name is the power of attorney this name is the power of attorney please i'll i'll write some verses on the board please read yourself matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and chapter 18 verse 20 and chapter 19 verse 29 uh, here Hebrews Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 Gospel of Mark chapter 19 verse 41 and Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 and here Romans chapter 5 verse 9 1st Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 through 4 Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 Matthew 18 20 Matthew 19 29 Hebrews 13 chapter 13 chapter 15 verse Mark chapter 9 verse 41 Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 Romans chapter 15 verse 9 first Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 through 4 there is so much power in his name my dear brethren disease are cured in his name all sickness will gone demons promulgate his name what a wonderful name there are many wonders in his name there are miracles in his name his name is mighty there is salvation in his name his name is lord jesus christ personally i am telling his name is very delicious name my dear brethren so our lord jesus christ name is a wonderful name a wonderful name amazing name and very delicious 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 name and philippians chapter 3 verse 10 please read same letter chapter 3 verse 20 sorry 20 for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the savior the lord jesus christ see again here savior mention according to isaiah chapter 43 verse 11 uh, only one savior he is the god again here uh, the paul telling that our savior lord jesus christ so again who that savior was the lord jesus christ so he is the god and savior and titus chapter 2 verse 13 titus chapter 2 verse 13 
Uh, please turn your Bible with me. The epistle of Uh, Titus chapter 2 verse 13 Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Lord uh, and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This is our hope my dear brethren. See how beauty this all verses the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. So this verse tells us that we have hope to see God, right? So I have one question. According to John chapter 4 verse 24, John chapter 4 verse 24, God is a spirit. So how can we see God? This is the question. So for that question, here is the answer. Titus uh, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 and Titus chapter 2 verse 13 is the answer for that but answer is here Titus 2 13 Philippians 3 20 without Jesus Christ we cannot see God because he is the God so if you understand what I said, your soul will dance in your body, my dear brethren. So that's why uh, God is a spirit. But if we, if we want to see our God, we must see our Lord Jesus Christ face. <laughs> this is a very, uh, if you, if you don't, uh, don't understand, you may in trouble or in confusion but if you understand then you feel happy my dear brethren okay now Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 please turn your Bible with me Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. See, without Jesus Christ, you can't see the God, my dear brethren. So, the thing is true is the past and in the present. The fullness of the Godhead will bodily in Jesus Christ. As a man on earth, John chapter 1 verse 14 verse 18 and chap John chapter 14 verse 9 and 10 and 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and now dwells in his spiritual body Ephesians chapter 3 verse 19 Ephesians chapter 1 verse 23 and Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16 so without him we can't see God if you put him aside, I have to see God means it's impossible. With him dwelleth all Godhead bodily, my dear brethren. The fullness of the Godhead dwelt bodily in Jesus Christ. And Second Peter chapter 1 verse 1. Please turn your Bible with me. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 1. Simon Peter is servant and oppose, an apostle of Jesus Christ. To them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ again here God and our Savior see that God is the Savior so who is that God and who is that Savior the Lord Jesus Christ Peter also telling that same here God and Savior means only one they are not two gods or two saviors and the last most important verse in the Bible 
we will see and close my dear brethren please turn your bible with me hebrews this is a very very important hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 this is a, an absolute statement on the deity of christ please memorize this verse also hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 this is a last verse for this video but unto the son he said thy throne o god is forever and ever a uh, specter of righteousness is the specter of thy kingdom if i read by uh, if i read mistake please read yourself my my dear brethren and here an absolute statement on the deity of christ this is god the father addressing god the son so you you see this verse in the old testament also psalm number 45 verse 6 through 7 if you read this verses you see there o god means jesus only god since this is the one of the very strongest verse in the new testament on the deity of jesus christ observe that the holy spirit has just called jesus christ god but man not calling him god don't believe those who say jesus is not god he is a liar those who are telling jesus is not god they they are liars my dear brethren he knows nothing about the bible so don't confuse and don't bother about them and you are also mistaken yes where does the bible say that jesus is god sometimes you also think like that but don't think there are many several verses on the deity of our lord jesus christ please be careful about such a people especially muslims also because they are telling we believe jesus is prophet we believe jesus is came but we not believe jesus is god and we not believe he not crucified and we not believe he is son of god they are telling like that so be careful about also muslims and moreover before i am going to close please if you are not accept our lord jesus christ please this is the right time brother you don't have any time because our days are going so please believe and accept our lord jesus christ as your personal my dear brethren then now only you will save otherwise you cannot deserve hell my dear brethren through our lord jesus christ only you deserve the hell so please escape from hell this is the right time this is the right time you don't have any time in next moment what will happen to you you don't know i don't know what happened to me next moment please i am begging you i am requesting you please accept our lord jesus christ then you will be saved my dear brethren thank you thank you so much god bless you